All right, and uh, just up ahead, we'll, we'll make a right. Yeah, okay. There's the sign, Tucker Hollow Road, right here in Foster, Rhode Island. All right, so we passed a couple houses, but now the road seems pretty empty. Yeah. And with the fall leaves and the sun sinking low, this place does seem kind of eerie. This is the perfect setting for creepy tales of ghosts, suicide, and most notably, a cellar hole cursed by a woman known as Aunt Lonnie. Hi, I'm Jeff Belanger, and welcome to episode 165 of the New England Legends podcast. If you give us about 10 minutes, we'll give you something strange to talk about today. And I'm Ray Osher. Thanks for joining us on our quest to document every legend in New England one story at a time. This is more than just a podcast. It's a television series on PBS and Amazon Prime. It's a website, a free app for your smartphone so you can check out some of these legendary locations. It's a super secret Facebook group of people sharing strange tales. And it's a growing community of people who connect over the weird in New England. And we can't do what we do without the support of our Patreon patrons who kick in just three bucks per month to get early access to new episodes, plus bonus episodes and content that no one else gets to hear. More than anything, these legendary listeners are the backbone of what we do, and we appreciate it more than we can ever express. So if you can help us out, please head over to patreon.com slash New England Legends to sign up. Oh, and hey, we also have our first ever virtual Halloween party coming up on Saturday, October 24th from 7 to 9 p.m. Yes, Tickets are only $5, and they go to benefit the Old Colony History Museum. You can find a link for that on our website. And it's October, which of course means my virtual story tour is going on every night. It's a multimedia program where I take you through some of the haunts and legends. You can interact, ask questions, we can hang out, spend a little time together, and you can attend from anywhere. Just check out our website for the links to register. All right, Jeff, this road is getting spooky with the fall leaves. It feels remote, like maybe out here. No one would hear you scream. (laughs) (laughs) And it's always been remote, Ray. Those few houses we passed earlier, they're not that old. But there's one foundation out here that dates back to the 1700s. And if we're to believe the legend... Which we always do. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) No one better build on this foundation ever again, or they just might stir up a centuries-old curse of Tucker Hollow Road. All right, let's head back to 1798 and set this up. It's 1798 here in Foster, Rhode Island, and we're walking behind an old woman pulling a wooden cart towards Hopkins Mills. We shouldn't get too close to her, Ray. Uh, We don't really want to draw her attention. Why? Why why is that? Because that is the widow, Aunt Lonnie. She's a hermit who lives on Tucker Hollow Road. She doesn't cotton to strangers. I mean, shoot, she's not that fond of locals either. She pretty much wants to be left alone. I feel bad, though. She's clearly pretty elderly and lugging that heavy wagon into town. Excuse me, can we offer you some help pulling the wagon? Stay away from me! (laughs) Okay, I see what you mean. She doesn't come into town that often, and Aunt Lonnie isn't the kindest old lady. She loads her wagon with food and other supplies and then lugs it back up the hill to Tucker Hollow Road. But you'd think with a name like Aunt Lonnie, she'd be a little bit more friendly. You'd think. In fact, some folks in town suspect she may actually be a witch. (laughs) Well, we've seen that before. Mm -hmm. An old woman who lives off on her own, away from others, must be a witch. I know, I know. It's not fair. But in this case, maybe there's something to it. Okay, what do you mean? So Aunt Lonnie is getting on in years. Everyone knows it, including her. And she's made her wishes known on her infrequent trips to town. My wish is that no one is to live in my house on Tucker Hollow Road after I'm gone. You must destroy the house after my death. If so much as two boards are nailed together, I shall haunt this town. Well, that's a strange request. Why would she care what happens to her house after she's gone? I don't know. I mean, she must have her reasons to be so bitter. So another year passes, and Aunt Lonnie grows more frail. In 1799, she dies and is buried. But the folks in town can't be bothered to tear down the house for no reason. Sure. So Aunt Lonnie's home on Tucker Hollow Road sits abandoned and rotting. But soon, ghostly rumors start flying. Ooh, what kind of rumors? Well, there's talk of Aunt Lonnie's disembodied screams of anger and other strange occurrences. (laughs) Okay, let's go walk by her house and take a look. 
All right, I can see the small house is already looking pretty run down. It doesn't take long, does it? No, it doesn't. What was that? All right, I'm feeling an icy chill floating near us. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, we're not the only people who experience the screams. In the coming years, more people will be haunted by something around this house. It takes a few years, but finally some locals have had enough of Aunt Lonnie's ghost haunting them. So they show up with hammers and saws and tear the house down. Finally, once there's no longer any boards nailed together and just the empty cellar hole remains, Aunt Lonnie, at least for now, can be at rest. And that brings us back to today. Now, was that the last of Aunt Lonnie's ghost? Well, not exactly. You can see there's a bunch of no trespassing signs today. And out there, beyond that stone wall, is Aunt Lonnie's cellar hole. But it's empty, as it should be. Not even two boards nailed together. But if her ghost is still haunting Tucker Hollow Road, it's not near her former home anymore. Let's head up the road just a little ways. All right, check out the cemetery on the side of the road. Yeah, wow, that's a pretty small boneyard. Yeah. Maybe 30 graves or so in a small rectangle of land surrounded by colonial stone walls. The sign says Rhode Island Historical Cemetery Foster Number 27. It's better known as the Hopkins-Tucker plot because those are the families buried here. Ah. So people claim to see the ghost of Aunt Lonnie sitting on the stone wall right here, still watching over Tucker Hollow Road, maybe making sure no one builds on her old foundation again. Jeff, I was reading online about a few other haunting stories along this road. What'd you find? Well, there's a story of a man who murdered his wife in the 1800s in these woods. Okay. But we couldn't find anything concrete on it. Huh. There's also the story of a town worker who, in the 1960s, drove his town truck out here with his dog. Completely despondent, he committed suicide by shooting himself in the head right in front of the poor dog. Oh my God, that's horrible. There's also a story of a ghostly woman who's been seen walking along Dolly Cole Brook, which runs parallel to Tucker Hollow Road. She's probably someone who drowned way back when. Foster, Rhode Island is full of ghostly legends, and I can see why this road is so mysterious. I mean, it's right off of two main roads, Route 6 and 101, but Tucker Hollow Road is a dirt road. Parts of it, nothing but trees and old colonial stone walls. And plenty of no trespassing yeah, signs. very true. I'm guessing a lot of people come here looking for ghosts. The stories do draw you in, and the internet is filled with accounts of people hearing disembodied screams and seeing ghostly figures all around here. We just can't let the ghost of Aunt Lonnie go because maybe her ghost connects us to a time when people on the outskirts of our society were villainized. Well, there's always some reason to keep a legend around. And we like keeping you around as well. We do. If you don't already subscribe to our podcast, you should because, well, it's free. You can hit subscribe wherever you get your podcast so you don't miss a single story. Also, please post a review for us and share your favorite episodes on social media. It helps us grow. I know everyone is in a rush to get rid of the year 2020, <laughs> and I have good news. Woo. On our website, you can find a link to buy the limited edition 2021 Haunted New England Wall Calendar by yours truly and featuring the eerie photography of Frank Grace. We only print a limited number, so get yours soon. We'd like to thank Lorna Nagara for lending her voice acting talents this week, and our theme music is by John Judd. Hi, this is the Friedels from Welcome, North Carolina. Until next time, remember, the bizarre is closer than you think. Thank you.